Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Scorpio for May. I am using the Lover's Path Tarot again this month and um, I am going, not again this month, but this month, last month, it, I had, I think for the last two months I've been using the Lenormand deck and I wanted to switch it up a little bit and then I always pull one card or have one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. The way I do my readings is I let cards fall out. Those are jumper cards, jumpers and clarity cards. Those are the only ones that I read. I feel like those are the ones that are meant to be read only. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm what's called a clairsentient, which means that I do readings based on feelings and emotions so I pick up other people's feelings it's like it's highly empathetic so when I do my celebrity readings I can pick up emotions of celebrities same as so when I do a, a private reading I can pick up your emotions I can pick up the emotions of the person you're involved with I can feel whether they're in love or not in love and as a clairsentient I can feel where they're going to go with those feelings with those emotions so it's called reading people it's where I shine it's where I do my best work it's um uh I get people who say I cannot believe you picked up all of that it's like you know that person yeah that's that's how I do my readings so it comes very naturally to me and it's very draining so um so yeah, so also these readings are very general. Uh, they're general readings, all right? So they're, uh, they're because everybody uh, out there, all of you Scorpios out there, are walking different paths. It is not going to be um, meant for every Scorpio in the world, all right? So take from it what you can, what resonates, and um, what doesn't then you can always get a private reading from me. My, my email will be at the bottom of the video. And uh, I, I, will, I can have a, a reading done for you within 48 hours. Okay? Or you can go to another reader. There's, there's lots and lots and lots of readers out there. All right. So I'm going to give this card, these cards a good shuffle. What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of May? Scorpio for the month of May. A, I'm going to give it a good shuffle like they do when you play poker <laughs> or cards. But these cards are so stiff, I can't really bend them too much. All right. All right, Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of May? There's the first card. Scorpio for the month of May. 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 That one came flying out. Scorpio for the month of May. <clears throat> Scorpio for the month of May. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Scorpio for the month of May. This card has come up for the last four signs. All right. Okay, so the first card we have here is the card that indicates the relationship. Now, if you're a Scorpio, you can be involved with another water sign, Queen of Cups. Or, because it's a general reading, it would be um, uh, male or female, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. So 
This is the energy between the two of you as well, which this person represents healing, supporting, nurturing. So they're also represented by the moon. All right, cancers are represented by the moon. Um, I would say maybe this is a cancer person you're involved with because you can see like the moon has so many phases and cancers are about as um, moody as the phases of the moon. You never know what you're going to get with them. So you could be involved with a cancer person. Um, but this does talk about wanting or even being in a relationship right now, which is quite nurturing and healing and supportive between the two of you. All right. So the next card is you. And this is your what's going sorry. Yes, this is what's going on in your mind. Now you are looking for clarity on this situation. You can see this again. I'm going to explain that there's the heart at the end of the arrow. And you're looking for clarity. All these clouds here, this talks about because it's so cloudy, you can't see clearly. You know, there's a little bit of obstacles. You can see um, these are uh, mountains. So mountains represent obstacles. This represents like just cloudiness, but you're wanting to get some clarity on the situation, um, on you know, mental clarity. All right, you're feeling like you're in a bit of a fog. All right, we have the Princess of Coins. And so this represents um, what's going on in their mind. And again, we can see there's the heart here. What's going on in their mind. Uh, so they are feeling like the, with the Princess of Coins, this is patience. So they're being patient in this situation. They're not moving fast. The Princess of Coins is not an aggressive person. Um, it represents stability. It represents being grounded. It represents being responsible. So they are taking this relationship very, very slowly, responsibly. They are not jumping into things. So they're not moving perhaps as fast as you'd like it. And you need some mental clarity on that. All right, your emotions, your feelings, your concerns. Here we have the Six of Cups. Now, this person could be from the past. Six of Cups typically represents reunions, people that you know from the past, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends. So this could be someone that you're involved with from the past. It's a very nice, balanced friendship. Uh, six, I believe, is about balances. And... Uh, they, you can see here, their emotions, feelings is the Ten of Cups. They recognize that you are the person that they want to be with. So the Ten of Cups is about marriage, children, family. Again, it's reunions, love and support. So you could be reuniting with somebody from the past. You could be right now involved with them and you're just right now trying to figure things out in your own mind. Why is this crooked? All right, like that. All right, so here we have um, both of you guys kind of wanting the. it's both talking about reunions. So either you're going to be with somebody that um, uh, reunite with them uh, or you're already involved with that person and you both know what you feel. You know, you're feeling like this is, you know, it's balanced. They know that they want marriage with you. All right, next is Judgment. Again, so judgment, this card talks about how they represent themselves. So they're coming back to you. This, you know, this person here is kind of at the balcony. This person's just standing there. You know, they're coming back. And this is about, um, judgment is about second chances. So I'm going to just go to the book. And um, it's about choices changes. So this talks about um, it's the next phase of life. Self-knowledge. But typically it is about giving something a second chance. So how are they representing themselves? They want to give you that second chance. They want to come back and they want to make this work. It's a new phase. And <clears throat> how they see you, there's the nine of staves. So they see you as still persisting forward. 
still, even though you might have been beat up last time and feel like you've got some scars from what happened before, they see you as that um, you're pushing the boundaries and persisting in this relationship. Okay, there we have that. Okay, like looks like a nice reading, you know. Um, I just really feel that you just need some mental clarity here. What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of May? Scorpio for the month of May. 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 What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of May? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Start talking. Get, in, get to know each other. Communicate. You know, um, seems to me that that's what you need is you need that mental clarity. You both know what you want. It's just you need to, you need to just get to know each other more. So, all right, everyone. That is your reading. I really hope all you Scorpios enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like to get a private reading, please email me and I will um, I will get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, I really hope that you guys have a great month of May. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.